Good morning! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Shayla. It is a hair washing day, so I thought I would oil my hair because I've been really focused on getting my hair back in order. Talked about this in a video not too long ago, and I did see some of your comments saying that you also experienced hair loss after having COVID, and I really do think that's my problem because my hair was not this thin and brittle this time last year when I first moved to New York. And I had never had COVID until I moved to New York. Very frustrating, but now I'm just kind of doing what I can to get my hair to grow and be healthy again because it was finally looking and feeling so good and I feel like it just looks terrible. I'm just doing rosemary oil on the root and my scalp and massaging that in and then doing grapeseed oil through the rest of my hair all the way through to the ends. I've been trying to oil my hair at least once a week. I mean, if I'm just gonna put it up in a claw clip anyways, I might as well toss this in and use some nourishing oil to slick it back. I've also been taking Wellbell, but I'm not taking the amount that they suggest that you take. <laughs> I've been taking one a day and it says to take three a day and here's why. I can occasionally have a not so great reaction with certain vitamins, like they can make me extremely nauseous and I just, I don't do well. So I wanted to start slow with this and just start incorporating one a day, but I just reordered because I'm almost out. And once my new one comes, I'll probably bump it up to two or three because I've been doing really well on this so far. I haven't noticed any huge noticeable difference, but I haven't really been doing anything that consistently, unfortunately, but I'm back on track like the last week i'm like i can't i gotta find a routine with this because i'm so over the state of my hair it's so upsetting the other thing too is the vega more grow serum again i got it with the best of intentions and i just have not been using it consistently so i cannot say whether it works or not but as i just said i am getting back on track and i'm getting into a routine with it because i'm ready to have my nice healthy hair back on another note i know we are still technically like 10 days away from the official first day of summer or something like that. I think it's June 21st. But it is really feeling like summer the last couple of days and I am so freaking excited. There has been some sporadic rain, but it's nothing I can't deal with. As long as it's warm out and the sun is out majority of the time, I'm happy. So I'm thinking today, instead of my usual hot coffee, I'm going to do an iced coffee. That just seems like the move. Yum. I'm trying to think of the last time I made an iced coffee at home. Literally can't remember. Also, before you ask, the glass, the glass straw, my coffee maker, the coffee that I get, as well as a ton of other things that you see around my home are all linked below in the description box. I always try to link everything for you. And you can also check out my Amazon storefront, which a lot of my home items and beauty stuff comes from Amazon. And a lot of my clothing comes from Revolve, which my Revolve favorites page is also linked below. As for this vlog, I don't really have a plan. We're just going with the flow. I figured I would vlog today, possibly vlog tomorrow, see what we get into. Today, I have some work that I need to get done. I am also going to Pilates with my bestie, Brooke. And then I have dinner plans later. Tomorrow, I have no idea what's going on, but we shall see. So we could hang out for a couple days and do a little day slash days in my life vlog in New York City. So subscribe if you're new. And let's get things going. We are starting with some admin work. Side note, I feel like I always get asked what this is. This is an external hard drive because when you are a vlogger and take a lot of photos, you have a lot of video files and it will make your computer so slow. So I dump everything on this little hard drive and it keeps my computer running a little bit faster than it normally would. But honestly, I feel like I'm gonna need a new computer soon and to get a bigger computer because I feel like it has been doing some funky things lately and moving really slow, but that's a problem for another day. For now, I'm gonna work on a few things before we go to Pilates. Time for Pilates. First, I want to, yeah, these are 
these are still wet. I actually got a cute little decorative basket for my towels for my bathroom because I was just stacking them on the ground in my bathroom. And I wanna see if that all fits, but I need to finish drying these towels first. So we'll just dry these while we're gone. Yay. Okay, let's go. After Pilates! to get ginger shots and smoothies. Cheers, cutie. Yeah. Along with trying to get back on my hair routine, I'm getting back on my vitamin routine. I used to be a morning vitamin girl, eh? but I cannot do that. I haven't been able to do that for quite some time. I get like so nauseous. I will literally gag and dry heave if I take vitamins on an empty stomach. That's probably because I don't typically eat breakfast, but that's usually because I'm not hungry in the morning. So we're making it work. I take my vitamins after my lunch. I don't know if you can see, but my shoulders are like off right now. This actually used to happen to me a lot when I was getting out of an abusive relationship. It's not an injury. It is quite literally a stress response in my body. It's a trauma response. I don't know why this is happening because I'm pretty happy in my life right now. So I have no idea why this is going on. But it is just the way my body responds to repressed stress and trauma. I wasn't going to say anything to you about it, but just in case you see me moving like this, that's why. Best thing for me to do is to not pay attention to it and rest. So I canceled my workout for tomorrow, just in case, I have no idea how I'm gonna feel. On another note, finally got a little basket. I wonder who that is. Finally got a little basket for my towels for my bathroom because I've been stacking my towels on the ground, which is not ideal, but I didn't have any other place for them. Let me show you what I've been doing and where I think I'm gonna put this little basket. Penny, what are you doing in here? <laughs> I've basically just been stacking my towels down here, which is not cute. I think I want to do this basket here. Oh yeah, see that's like the perfect size. These are all my Brooklyn and towels, by the way. I love Brooklyn and bath towels are the best. So I fold it long ways like this. Fold that in half. Just roll it kind of like this. And I think, <gasps> perfect. Oh yeah, that looks so much nicer, wow. Crazy that I've lived here for over a year now and I'm still making little tweaks to the decor. It really doesn't look like much on camera, <laughs> but it actually looks pretty cute and contained there, so I'm very happy with that. Three hours later. As I said, it is feeling like summer in New York City. 80 degrees, although it might rain in the next couple of minutes, which I'm not totally excited about. Hopefully it doesn't happen, <laughs> but yeah. Also, if you're alarmed that I'm going to dinner at 6.30, don't be. I know it's grandma hour, but I want to get to bed early. <laughs> so we're making it an early dinner date. Did not wash my hair yet. I'm just going to leave the oil in it because whatever. I'm just going to leave it up in a clip. <laughs> but I'm just going to wear this long flowy dress that was actually gifted to me at an event in LA. I believe the brand is called Nation, but it's definitely a year and a half old. If I can find it, I will it is a great dress it's like a silky material but i'm not sure if that is gonna be possible and i'm rocking these black sunglasses and we're just going for it thought you know something flowy so i have room nothing worse than going to dinner in jeans and feeling like you need to unbutton your pants at the table <laughs> if you know you know the sunnies are super affordable from revolve i will link them below they are also linked on my revolve favorites page and my hoops are made well i've had them forever they are also linked below 
I wear these all the time. I love them. And for shoes, I think I'm gonna wear my Princess Polly sandals that I got last summer. I did a try on haul for Princess Polly and these were part of the haul and I have not worn them since last summer. By the way, we're going to Nami Nori. They have an amazing vegan sushi menu there. I'm very excited. And they have regular sushi there too. Let's go. We had to do a little sake. You guys know Maria. She does all my beauty things. Cheers. <laughs> Hi, Fanny. Hi, Fanny. <laughs> Hello. For those of you who judged me for going out to dinner so early, this is why. Home early, I can shower, do my little self-care routine, walk the dogs, and be in bed before 10, and I love that for me. Since I already started talking about hair, I might as well continue the conversation. This is what I'm using on my hair tonight. I recently got this Kerastase shampoo and conditioner. I'm gonna use this tonight. I still do love the Vegamore, but I'm just kind of feeling Karis off tonight. So that is the vibe. And of course, I am using my Athena Club razor, not sponsored, just obsessed with it. Good morning. Just gonna make myself a little coffee. I'm gonna do a decaf coffee because I'm going on a coffee date in a couple of hours with, still don't have a pseudo name for him. I better get on that because he is turning out to be quite consistent. I have quite a bit of admin work to do today and I need to record some podcast episodes. So I'm up early to get a head start. Speaking of up early, look who else is up early for a treat. I got these in the mail last night. My mom sent a little gift for Bali's birthday. How cute is that? So let's see if she likes these. Plant-based wild blueberry. Honestly, if you know, you know, that really bothered me that I just ripped that off. I really should have just cut that. <laughs> uh. Oh, wow. These are like actual blueberries. Okay, we're gonna have to go over here and eat them. Come on. Yum. Nope, you can't eat it on the couch. Eat it over here. You like it? She's confused. I think she's just not sure of the texture. It's almost like a gummy. Yummy. <gasps> Yummy. Oh, this is from your grandma. This is from your grandma. There you go. Look who's up and heard. <laughs> Oh, Baba likes them now. I will say they are like really interesting texture. They're kind of like fruit snacks, but thank you, mom. She really likes them. Okay, that's it. Penny's not so sure, but that's okay. Penny doesn't need treats right now. I can't leave the top like this. It just looks terrible. I can't explain why this irks me, but it does. Problem solved. <laughs> We'll link these below if you're interested in trying them for your dog. I'm pretty sure she got them on Amazon. And mom, if you're watching, thank you. That was so sweet and thoughtful. I'm going to get my admin work done. I think I'm just gonna wear this little onesie from Aloe that I got last year with my Dagny Dover belt bag. I love this little belt bag. I got this last summer and I use it all the time. It's one of my favorites. I just like to be hands-free when I'm walking. I'm gonna do a little of my Dior lip oil. I love this stuff. This is amazing. I'll do my little white Aritzia button up over just in case I need a little some something. This was like my uniform last summer, I feel like, <laughs> or one of my staple uniforms. I'm wearing the same glasses that I wore last night. I have had these, I just recently found them again. So <laughs> they're back in my sunglass rotation. I'm not sure that I'm gonna bring the dogs with me because 
I might want to stop at a little bakery on the way back. And I guess I could technically bring them with me to the bakery, but like, I feel rude bringing the dogs inside where they sell food. <laughs> I know people do it all the time, but if I can avoid having to do that, I'm gonna do that. So I think what I'll do now is walk them and then bring them back upstairs and then we'll go on my little coffee date. Wow, it is so nice outside right now. The weather right now is amazing. Chef's kiss. Did not bring the dogs because my shoulder is really bothering me. And they were like pulling me all over the place, but they'll survive. <laughs> Well, now I'm kind of regretting not bringing them because the gorgeous sunny weather has disappeared already. It is raining outside. Gotta love the all over the place New York weather, I swear. One minute it's sunny out and the next it's gloomy. Why are you sitting like that? You okay? Hey yo, hey yo, give a kiss. Thank you, give a kiss. Thank you. <laughs> I have been working all afternoon. It is close to 2.30 now and I need to take a break. My shoulder is really bothering me. I love this Pura home diffuser. It's like a plug-in diffuser and I'm just gonna replace these little things. Got it last year and I'm pretty sure I shared about it when I originally got it. I just wanted to remind you that I'm still loving it. <laughs> and this is my favorite scent to put in it by Brooklyn Candle Studio. It is the Palo Santo scent. It smells amazing. <laughs> Oh, my computer just making noises at me, stressing me out. No wonder my shoulder is messed up. <laughs> this is pretty cool though, because you have a little app on your phone to control the amount of scent and like how strong the scent is coming out of it. I always get compliments when people come over, they're like, whoa, your house smells so good. And I swear it is because of this. This gray weather is making me so tired. Also, I guess I did get up at 4.30. <laughs> so it's to be expected that I'm tired. Wow, really riveting content for you right now, I know. I know, it's very exciting stuff happening over here. How freaking cute is this little dress? I just got it delivered. I ordered it from Nordstrom. It is so freaking cute. Now, if you know me well, you know I'm not a big bird girly. <laughs> it's a really long story. But I just think the print is so cute. And I think it'd be really cute with my black Converse. I'm gonna wear this actually, let me put it on. It's giving vacation energy, I know, but it's Friday, why not? I love the little built-in top and the ties on the side. It is just so sweet and cute. And it's not too short, which is great. And it looks cute with my little black Converse. So I think I'm just gonna wear this. Oh yeah, I didn't even tell you. I am going on a little movie date tonight with you know who. <laughs> So sweet. At some point on one of our dates, I had told him that growing up, The Little Mermaid was like my favorite movie. I didn't even know that there was a new Little Mermaid movie coming out, but he suggested that we go see that. And I was like, oh, I didn't even know that there was one coming out. He's like, didn't you say that was your favorite movie growing up? I'm like, I did. And the rain has cleared up at least for now. And I think we're gonna walk over the bridge there, which should be really nice. Since I am still keeping this on the DL for the most part, look at me, I can't even stop smiling. <laughs> I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog tonight, but I will try and take some clips on my phone so you can see what we get into. Regardless, I'm just gonna end this vlog here. So thank you for hanging out with me. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. I love you and I will see you in my next video.